and we're in. All right, Wino Guru in the house, y'all. Long overdue. I've been asked to do this far, far, far too long. And I guess there's a reason why. I mean, I have a bit of a vice, guys. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> now, I'm thinking for the first video, I might just dip in by just plucking out some things that come along my way and giving a bit of a backstory as to what it is, what it kind of sounds like, when it's when it was released and pressed, I mean, all that fun stuff. So let's just kind of get in, shall we? What do you think? Oh yeah. All right, so let's give this a whirl, shall we? Just uh, really like blind. I mean, really just take it and take it and go. Ah, Goblin, phenomenal, phenomenal act. What can I say? This is a really great Italian stallion act. Uh, led by Claudio and just the, the stuff that they would record was really phenomenal uh, um, really Great soundtracks, and this is one of them. I highly recommend you check out a little bit of Goblin if you don't know I got a lot of their stuff. I got a lot of their stuff. I think uh, The church is a really great Is a really great one as well. Uh, let me see what else we've got. I got an Italian press of Patrick. This stuff, this, this is really good too. I mean, everybody knows their, some of their classic stuff, but, but I just wanted to take you to the land of weird a little, you know, why not? Let's see. Next one, next one, next one. I don't want to babble too much, you know? So let's see here. Mm, Japanese breakfast. And this is squiggled. Japanese breakfast, uh, indie. Indie pop, rock-ish, more on the mellow side. Uh, this is her second record, I believe. And it's very, I mean, you can look at her kind of like a young Bjork. Um, it came out three years ago. It's saying 2017 it came out. Time flies. Time flies. All right, let's see what else, folks. Let's see what else. Let's see what else. Mm, why did that tug a lug at me? I don't know. All right. We picked one. What is she? Ah, this came out not too long ago, and I'm sure a lot of you know this record. Really great stuff. Super group, Arctic Monkeys, Queens, Iggy. Great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, if I have to recommend a song, Gardenia, for sure. Gardenia, Sunday too, I guess. But yeah, Gardenia is a standout to me. Give it a little dip and flip. Another dip and flip. All right, let's go over to this side of town here, maybe. Okay, all right. I mean, it would, it was inevitable that I picked this because I have like, look at how many copies of this I have. It's a stupid amount. Why, why so many? Okay, um, also squiggled. Really great record, really great record. What can I say? This this album, this artist, wow. I mean, Jack Jaguar really nailed it. Really, really, they really nailed it with this one. Um, just, I, I'm not going to give you the records that are her hits. Okay, I'm going to tell you a couple of B's and D's and elemental P's. And those are sister. Those were the days. Wow. Good stuff. Tear jerker. Get a tissue. That's for sure. Um, it's just incredibly metal, mellow, beautiful indie rock. All right, let's try. Uh, let's let's get a little higher, folks. Let's get a little higher because we want to elevate ourselves. Because we can't we can't all stay sick. Can't all stay sick. All right, let's give it a, let's give it a whirl. I can't reach some of these. I I gotta get a ladder for. It's just it is what it is, folks. Uh, we just spoke about Arctic. I'm not gonna go there. We ain't repetition. We ain't skipping our records here. We rotate. We rotate. <laughs> All right. You know what? One more. One more for the kids, and then we're good. And we're putting it to bed. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Oh, let's see. Let's see. This this one feels this feels right. Let's see. Okay, uh, okay, another, wow, another indie 
rockish kind of, you know, I have a lot of stuff. And I'm shocked at, the, at it just being indie right now. But Alex Cameron, also very indie rock, also squiggled. This artist, what can I say? Really great, th great, great. Uh, if you like that 80s sound, you'll really love this artist. He's, he's pretty much trying to regurgitate the 80s. So if you're into that, please dip in. And then, you know, one more for the bonus. Bonus round. Why not? Let's see what we're dealing with here. Cat power god. Okay, this is this has gotten real indie, folks. I gotta I gotta no, I can't do this to y'all. I can't. I can't. Let's let's try maybe down here or something. Cause this we can't do this to y'all. Oh. Okay, a little different. There we go. Let's put on to Spalding. This is a great jazz, free jazz, avant-garde kind of artist. Uh, really, really great stuff. She's on Concord. And this album I really recommend because I recommend all her stuff, really. I'm not going to lie to you here. She just puts out great content. But this one is a little bit we on the weirder side. I wouldn't really recommend this for a novice listener of hers because it's very hippy-dippy. She announced that it's going to be basically like she's been doing Reiki studying and um, has been putting a lot of interesting good vibrations and frequencies in her new records so if you're willing to dive deep dive deep by all means but if you want to dip in to a more palatable side of hers let me show you a record of hers not the one that came before this because the one that came before this she self-released honey she is like six seven hundred right now but we're going to tell you a record that's a little bit more accessible Devolution, really, really great. This is the album that kind of got me into her, actually. And uh, there's a lot of great stuff on here. I mean, Funk the Fear, Judas, or Earth to Heaven. I, re I really like this record. Um, and it was produced by uh, Tony Visconti, y'all. Any Bowie fans out there? Any T-Rex fans? Where you at? Please shout out, right? Really great stuff. And honestly, I, I really want a boombox right now. So that that alone that alone <laughs> anyway you got you got a taste you got a dip and uh let's see what else the night brings